in this brief lecture we are going to talk about biofertilizer so before going to deep dive into this lecture uh, just you need to break down if you want to know any concept related to any part of any any story or any subject you need to break down that term so here if you break down this biofertilizer term that comes bio and fertilizer fertilizer means any uh, substance that uh, used for supplying nutrient to the plant that is fertilizer bio means that is living associated with a living so any living things that is acting as fertilizer that means acting as supplying any nutrient to the plant then that is considered as bio fertilizer so basically bio fertilizer consists of living strains of microbes which enhance the nutrient availability increase nitrogen fixation maintain soil health environmental friendly option for increasing production and safe for alternative of fertilizer as we are using more and more fertilizer after green revolution era to increase the productivity because whatever varieties and hybrids we are using right now they are fertilizer responsive so people started using more and more fertilizer to get more and more yield but the, there is negative consequence as we are using more and more fertilizer they are basically chemically synthesized uh, materials from the uh, manufacturer or from the companies so as we are applying different inorganic chemicals in the field it is decreasing the soil health decreasing the soil quality and soil becoming uh, a poor in nutrient status soil because the parcel factor productivity is decreasing the yield stagnation is there yield is decreasing so we need to uh, go for a combined approach which we cannot switch from inorganic farming or inorganic fertilizer application to directly to the uh, organic one without application of inorganic fertilizer like uh, only application of manure for vermi compost and fym but we need one integrated approach where we can uh, use integrated nutrient management judicious use of different source of nutrient management so bio fertilizer why we need to apply bio fertilizer we need to apply there is different kinds of bio fertilizer we will talk in uh, this particular lecture so bio fertilizer basically uh, consists of microbial strains these are fertilizer that means in substrate there are some living organisms will be present and which can uh, either fix atmospheric nitrogen or which can solubilize the already fixed uh, nutrient in the soil so there is lot of nutrient dynamics and nutrient cycle going on in the soil so they take part in these microbes they take part in those uh, availability of those nutrients right so that is the main concept of bio fertilizer so when we recommend bio fertilizer to any farmer or any anything for seed treatment mostly it is recommended 200 g bio fertilizer is needed for 10 kg seed that means for 10 kg seed we need 200 g bio fertilizer basically bio fertilizer they uh, marketed uh, in 200 g packet so 200 g bio fertilizer is needed for 10 kg of seed okay and when we are applying different agrochemical on the seed like insecticide fungicide bio fertilizer then we should uh, take this you know this as a key concept that that means first we need to inoculate that into fungicide that means the seed should be first treated with fungicide followed by insecticide followed by rhizobium or the bio fertilizer that is fir fire you should remember in this uh, way first should be fungicide then it should be dried or uh first it, it should be treated with fungicide and it, it should be properly dried then it should be treated with insecticide then it should be treated with rhizobium or bio fertilizer so this is this should be the correct sequence or optimum sequence for different agrochemical treatment in the seed so bio fertilizer are classified into different group uh, like based on the their microbial composition bio fertilizer can be bacteria it can be algae it can be fungus okay so bacterial bio fertilizer it can be nitrogen fixing bio fertilizer it can be phosphate solubilizing bio fertilizer nitrogen fixing bio fertilizer again classified into symbiotic nitrogen fixture associative nitrogen fixture and free living or non associative nitrogen fixture the example of symbiotic bio fertilizer means that is rhizobium so what does it mean symbiosis means the higher plant and the bacteria they will live in association and they will help each other so that bacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen in that way that is helping the plant and plant uh, gets its photosynthesis and from that photosynthesis some 
energy is utilized by this microbe so that is symbiotic nitrogen fixture that is rhizobium uh, mostly they uh, inhabited in the leguminous crop root nodule then associative nitrogen fixture means they are associative with certain type of certain community of the plant mostly azospirillum is a associative nitrogen fixture so azospirillum is associated with uh, different grass species the non symbiotic nitrogen fixture that is azotobacter these are free living and they mostly uh, are aerobic and free living mi uh, microbes which or bacteria that can fix atmospheric nitrogen then phosphor solubilizing biofertilizers are there they are mostly non symbiotic and the examples are bacillus and pseudomonas these microbes these bacteria they can fix uh, they can mobilize or uh, they can solubilize the phosphorus that is being fixed in the soil then algae uh, that act as biofertilizer that is nitrogen fixture non symbiotic that is blue green algae bga okay then fungus that that is phosphorus solubilizer that may be symbiotic that may be non symbiotic in symbiotic there is mycorrhiza gigaspora and glomus mostly mycorrhiza means the association between fungus and the higher plant root so mycorrhiza help in phosphorus mobilization phosphorus translocation water translocation and the micronutrient translocation as well means absorption uh, mycorrhiza it spreads its mycelium in the soil and it increases the root volume as well the non symbiotic nitrogen fixture that is as aspergillus and penicillium so nit phosphorus fixer uh, yes phosphorus fixer so phosphorus fixing uh, bacteria that is bacillus and pseudomonas phosphorus fixing fungi that is aspergillus and penicillium so these are basically different types of biofertilizer and from these they are having different uh, role in different crop if we say rhizobium that is mostly uh, works in legumes and uh, it can fix uh, 5200 nitrogen uh, kg of nitrogen per hectare based on different cross inoculation group based on different uh, species of the legume uh, the rhizobium okay then azospirillum it is mostly in uh, used in wheat uh, maize cotton rice and it can fix 2225 kg nitrogen per hectare acetobacter it is associated with sorghum su uh, sugarcane palm millet vegetable and it can also fix 20 to 25 kg nitrogen per hectare azotobacter as we were discussing it is a free living nitrogen fixture it is mostly of uh, used in wheat maize cotton rice the upland crops and it can fix 20 to 25 kg nitrogen per hectare azola that is uh, used in flooded rice and it can fix 30 to 40 kg nitrogen per hectare bga in rice blue green algae that is 20 to 30 kg nitrogen per hectare psp that is phosphorus solubilizing bio fertilizer aspergillus penicillium pseudomonas bacillus it can be uh, used in all crops and it solubilizes the insoluble phosphorus because phosphorus the fixation is a major problem in the soil bham that is vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza uh that can be used in all crop and it enhances phosphorus zinc and water uptake in the plant there are different uh, rhizobium species and there are different inoculation group means different species will uh, infect different root nodule uh, of like leg different leguminous crop and their uh, capacity is different so this is the rhizobium species and this is the, these are the cross inoculation group means which leguminous crop is suitable for those rhizobium species and uh, so let's see one is rhizobium leguminosum that uh, that is most suitable for p group like pisum vicia lens then fagioli bean group fagiolus trifoli clover group trifolium that means borsim meliloti rhizobium meliloti that is alpha alpha group uh, that is melilotus medicago uh, trigonella uh, mostly the lucerne then lupini rhizobium lupini lupini group lupinus ornithophos rhizobium japonicum soybean group glycine max and japonicum is also used in uh, groundnut as well then different rhizobium species are there in cowpea vigna and arachis they are being used rhizobium and uh, azotobacter was first discovered by m w bejering you just remember these scientist names uh, because they are asked in different competitive exams this cross inoculation group you have to remember which biofertilizer is act uh, as which type of biofertilizer that you have to uh, use and this uh, their capacity of fixing atmospheric nitrogen that you have to uh, remember okay azospirillum was discovered by j dobernio mycorrhiza tom it was given by ab frank so this was uh, some brief idea about biofertilizer and its use